I've got plenty of action. Billy Joe. Always a pleasure to see you. You know, Lance, earlier, I was out here, I was watching Eliminators. Obviously, they do work out a little bit in the gym. Obviously, they do, do know a little bit about wrestling. But let me just tell you something, Lance. Those big muscles, well, I want to bring out a guy right now. Spike, come on out. Spike Huber. I want to show you some muscle. Where's he at? Billy Joe calling Spike Huber out here, and he comes. Sure. Come on, Spike. Now, Eliminators, if you want to talk about big muscles, take a look at this guy. He's got muscles in places you don't have places, punk. Take a look at this chest. Someday you might have a chest like this, but not right now. Someday you might have arms like this, but not right now. He knows a lot about wrestling. He's been all over the world. He's been in this sport for over 10 years. Now, Punk, Monday night in Memphis, Tennessee, there's no place like it. We're going to be the next USWA champion. The next morning, you will realize it. We are the champion. Stop to me, Spike. I'll tell you what, brother. I appreciate the phone call, you know? Because it's been a while since Spike's been in the squared circle. And you told me about these eliminators, the big tough guys. Well, you know, I thrive on big tough guys. I like competition. And I know I've got a good partner here. And I'll tell you what, come Monday night, they're going to find out what Memphis muscle's all about. Because that's what Spike Huber's all about. You got the heart. You got the determination. We got the wrestling ability. Watch out, eliminators. Spike Huber's ready. Believe me, I'm ready. I want to hurt somebody if that's what it takes. But I'll tell you what. You're my buddy, man. Thank you, Spike. I appreciate the call. The bottom line is, we are the next champion. Okay, Billy Joe Travis, Spike Huber. Good to see Spike again. I haven't seen him in a while. David. All right, we're going to take a complete look at the Memphis card coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Opening match, Spider will be going against the Spellbinder. The other Spider then comes back to go against Reggie B. Fine. Then you got the Moon Dogs with Ronnie Lutz going against the British bad breed, Axel and Ian Rotten. And then following that, you got uh, Burt Prentice and Ronnie Lotz and the loser leaves town. Yeah, maybe more about that coming up a little bit later. USWA tag titles at stake. The Eliminators will be going against the men you just saw, Billy Joe Travis, and man, what a large partner he's got in Spike Huber. The titles will be at stake then in the USWA title match, the heavyweight title. No time limit, no disqualification. Brian Christopher's hair against the USWA heavyweight title now held by dangerous Doug Gilbert. Get ready for that one. Brian Christopher started a win streak, he said today. He's 1-0. He's going to be looking to make it 2-0 against Doug Gilbert. You were saying no time limit, no disqualification. I'm thinking to myself, if he doesn't keep that win streak going, no hair. Add yeah, that no in there. That's huh? another no. You're right. And then, finally, the grudge tag team match coming up. Double J, Jeff Jarrett. What was he doing here last week? I don't know for sure, except Dream Machine, I think, has been feeding him a lot of uh, misinformation. Well, Dream Machine teams with Double J, Jeff Jarrett, to go against Jerry Lawler, and his partner will be Eddie Gilbert Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Here's the Dream Machine right here, and maybe he'll have some comments about the things he was telling Jeff Why Jarrett. wouldn't I try to cripple and maim you, Lawler? You put four pins in a plate in my right ankle, and he has been knocking Double J, Jeff Jarrett, whether you people believe it or not. Hey. Yeah, you've been telling stories to Jeff Jarrett that got him all stirred up about that stuff. Oh, I've been telling stories. You condone anything Lawler does. No, Lawler, he's no, he's scared. He's scared. Let me tell you something, Lawler. Eddie Gilbert can't help you. Oh, Roberts won't be able to help you when we get through with you because Jeff Jarrett is flying in from New York. Eddie Gilbert, you want to stand here and tell the people that you was back in the back? You were taking a shower? Is the reason you didn't help Lawler? I don't think so. You were scared, Eddie Gilbert. That's the reason you didn't come out there and help Jerry Lawler. Lawler, you've been coming out here every week and telling these people that the Dream Machine is going to kick the oxygen habit and my poor mama won't recognize me. Well, I'm still here. And I told the people that me and the mouse from the South had a big surprise. Well, we had it, and we done it, but you people sitting at home, you thought that was a surprise last week? It's nothing! Well, 
I got in store for you this week, Lana, because I guarantee you, Lance, you've been around a long time. You know the history. Lana, you're going to take a long ride this week. All the way to that man, John Gaston, whatever you want to call it. Hey, Gilbert, don't show up. It ain't going to do you no good. Five brick guys alone. God treatment ain't going to help you when I get through with you, money. Yeah. Well, uh, I got to tell you, this guy just rambles on and on. We'll see how far he rambles back in a moment.